Now I want to show you some really cool interior features on the all new Toyota CHR. Let's start off with the auto power folding mirrors. That's the button located here on my driver's door. I can fold the mirrors in with the touch of a button. I can fold the mirrors out with the touch of a button. And if I place that mirror on A, that's my automatic mode. My automatic mode will have the mirrors fold in when I lock the doors from the outside and fold out when I unlock the mirror doors from the outside. And that's standard on my XLE Premium. Over here we have our fog lamp button. Remember fog lamps are standard on your Premium and available as an accessory on the XLE. However, when my CHR has fog lamps, they're not turned on the typical way you turn on Toyota fog lamps. Usually you turn on Toyota fog lamps with a dial on my turn signal stalk. In the case of the CHR, I have a button on the left side of the dashboard. On my steering wheel, I've got my usual buttons I find on most Toyotas with my audio controls here on the left, as well as my Bluetooth controls and my voice command button. On the right side of the steering wheel, I have my trip button for my odometer, my go back button, and my buttons to control my color multi-information display. I also have my button to turn on and off, my lane departure alert, and the button to control the distance for my dynamic radar cruise control. In the middle here, I have the standard color multi-information display, which is on every single CHR. Looks similar to what you're going to find in many Toyotas with a couple of minor differences. I have my information screen here. I can scroll up and down on my information screen to get my fuel economy and distance to empty. I'm also going to have an eco indicator, my speedometer, and a G-force indicator so I can really see how much I'm thrashing this car around and see how well it really does handle. If I scroll over to the right, I have my display for my lane departure alert. Then I have my vehicle warning display. Then I have my setting screen. On my setting screen, I have my lane departure alert adjustments, my pre-collision adjustments. I can turn on and off my blind spot monitor from my multi-information display. And I have my drive mode screen. This is where I change the drive modes for the vehicle. So I can keep the transmission in normal or I can turn it to eco or sport. Eco will make the vehicle feel a little more sluggish, but it can save you up to 10% better fuel economy. If I put it into sport mode, it's going to make the acceleration more responsive. It's also going to make that continuously variable transmission mimic a seven speed transmission and make that steering a little tighter. Vehicle has a much different personality in sport mode. And along with that, I have my other vehicle settings and my MID settings that I can change. Moving over to the right, up here I have a standard auto dimming rear view mirror which is standard on every CHR. I also have my backup camera display located in the rear view mirror as we see right there which is really cool because now I don't have to look away from the rear view mirror when I'm backing up. This is my Display Audio 7-inch touchscreen head unit, which is standard on every single CHR. It's similar to what you're going to find in a Corolla IM or an 86, so there's a few minor differences from the Toyota Entune unit. What this head unit does not have is a CD player. There's also no navigation upgrade for this head unit in the CHR. What it does have, though, is AM, FM, high def radio, one USB port, an auxiliary jack, of course, and Bluetooth and Bluetooth streaming audio. Something a little bit different, though, is the AHA radio capability. What a customer needs to do to take advantage of that is download AHA radio to their mobile device. Once on AHA radio, they now have the ability to choose between about a hundred thousand different radio stations ranging from any type of music you can think of, news, podcasts, audiobooks, talk shows. Simply find the stations you like on AHA and make them your favorites. Then once you're inside the car, connect to the USB port, open up your AHA radio app, and choose your AHA audio source here. And what you're going to find, if I click on presets, are all of my favorite stations on 
AHA radio. What I can also do with AHA radio is I have this button here called Nearby. If I hit that, it's going to show me hungry coffee, hotels, weather, parks, and fuel. If I click on hungry, it will list the closest restaurants to the proximity of the vehicle. Same thing with coffee and hotels. If I click on weather, it's going to provide me the latest weather. With a 36% chance of rain with clearing skies and sprinkles early with a high of 74 and below of 55. It will also show me the closest parks and gas stations. Tomorrow's weather will have a 58% chance of raining. Moving down, I have dual zone climate control, which is standard on every single CHR, continuing also with the diamond shaped buttons and the diamond styling theme of the vehicle. My XLE Premium has standard heated front seats. So one of the few vehicles we have available with cloth heated front seats, and that's these buttons right here. And if I continue to go down here into the center console, there are a couple of features that are brand new to Toyota in North America. The first being an electric parking brake. Prior to the CHR, there was really only two ways to turn on your parking brake or to engage your parking brake, and that was with your left foot or your right hand. It's still your right hand, but now it looks like a window control with a P on it. That's your electric parking brake. Simply pull up on the button to engage it and push it back down to disengage it. It's also automatic, which means when I put the CHR in park, my electric parking brake is going to engage automatically. I'll actually hear it in the back. When I take it out of park, it'll disengage automatically. Another feature associated with the electric parking brake is the automatic brake hold. Separate button right next to my parking brake button looks like a brake with the word hold on it. If I turn on my automatic brake hold feature, what I can now do is if I bring the CHR to a complete stop, let's say I'm at a stoplight bring it to a stop, I can then take my foot completely off of the brake pedal, place it comfortably on the floor, and the brakes will remain engaged until I place my foot on the accelerator pedal and the brakes will then disengage. So that is great for stop and go traffic or to reduce fatigue while driving. That pretty much sums up the interior features of the all new Toyota CHR. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thanks.